Our cells contain meter-sized DNA molecules, but measure themselves only microns in diameter. It follows that DNA needs to be folded and compacted in order to fit inside. But this folding does not happen randomly. In fact, DNA is highly structured, and the cell uses DNA structure to regulate key cellular processes, such as transcription or the segregation of the genome during mitosis. But we know a lot about how the genome is folded during the G1 cell cycle stage, we know much less about what happens when the cell enters the cell cycle. What happens here is that chromosomes are replicated and then contain two identical sister chromatids per chromosome. And here, all current methods to look at genome folding fail because they cannot distinguish the identical sister chromatids. Researchers are thus blinded to the location of the contact points between sister chromatids. But knowing where these locations are is really important because when DNA breaks, and this happens hundreds of times every day in our body, the only way to repair these lesions exactly is to copy the information from the other sister chromatid. So it's really important to know where the contact points between sister chromatids are to understand DNA repair and how it is involved in a multitude of different diseases. So we set out to develop a method that is able to solve this problem. The idea was very simple. We wanted to make sister chromatids distinct so that we could distinguish them in a downstream experiment. To achieve this, we incorporated artificial nucleotides into DNA, which would yield a signal during DNA sequencing. This allowed us to use very powerful DNA sequencing methods to look at genome folding, by enhancing them with the ability to distinguish sister chromatids. Ultimately, we were thus able to map the contact points between sister chromatids genome-wide and lay the foundation to understand processes that depend on sister chromatid proximity, such as DNA repair, and how the failure of such processes can ultimately lead to a multitude of different diseases, such as cancer.